हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज टेक्सीबिलिटी ऑफ स्पेसिफाइड एम्प्लॉय सो वॉट इज स्पेसिफाइड एम्प्लॉय स्पेसिफाइड एम्प्लॉय इज अ डायरेक्टर एम्प्लॉय और एम्प्लॉय हु हैज सब्सटेंशियल इंटरेस्ट सब्सटेंशियल इंटरेस्ट इन द कंपनी मीनिंग ट्वेंटी परसेंट और मोर ऑफ द वोटिंग पावर इज हेल्ड बाय सच एम्प्लॉय एंड द एम्प्लॉय इज ड्राइंग अ सैलरी इन एक्सेस ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड आई एन आर इफ द एम्प्लॉय इज इन दिस थ्री कैटेगरी इट विल बी टर्म्ड ए स्पेसिफाइड एम्प्लॉय एंड एनी प्रोक्यूजेड विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइडेड टू सच एम्प्लॉय विल बी प्रोक्यूजेड इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय एंड अकॉर्डिंगली कंसिडर्ड एज टेक्सीबल इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय सो इनिशियली वी हैड स्टडी दैट प्रोक्यूजेड इज इधर एंटायरली टेक्सीबल फॉर ऑल द एम्प्लॉयज either it is exempt for all the employees and the third category was taxability of perquisite in the hands of specified employee so we will be discussing this category in detail over here so on the screen any monetary obligation of the employee which is discharged by the employer is perquisite in the hands of the employee as per clause 4 of subsection 2 of section 17 however sometimes instead of discharging employee's obligation employer provides the perquisite in the form of facility to the employee such perquisites are taxable in the hands of specified employees only the value of any benefit or amenity granted or provided free of cost or at concessional rate which have not been included in 1 and 2 above 1 and 2 meaning perquisites are entirely taxable for all the employees or perquisite which are exempt for all the employees for this two categories will be taxable in the hands of specified employees following are the example of such services provision of sweeper gardener watchman or personal attendant facility of use of gas electricity or water supplied by the employer free or concessional tickets use of motor car free or concessional educational facilities meaning of specified employees director employee an employee of a company who is also a director is a specified employee it is immaterial whether he is a full time director or a part time director it is also it also doesn't matter where he is a nominee of the management workers financial institutions or the government it is also not material whether or not he is a director throughout the previous year or not an employee who has substantial interest in the company beneficial owner of equity shares carrying 20% or more of the voting power in the company beneficial and legal ownership difference between the two in order to de determine whether a person has a substantial interest in a company it is beneficial ownership of equity shares carrying 20% or more of the voting power that is relevant rather than the legal ownership meaning a karta of the huf is a registered shareholder of x limited the amount for purchasing the share is financed by the huf the dividend is also received by the huf so in this case the legal ownership do is a karta of the huf but the beneficial ownership wherein the funds are transferred by the huf and the dividend is received by the huf in this case the beneficial ownership is the huf and the legal ownership in this case is karta so meaning in order to determine whether a person has a substantial interest it is the beneficial ownership of the equity shares carrying 20% of the voting power that is relevant rather than the legal ownership so the beneficial ownership which is the substantial interest of 20% or more of the voting power would be the huf and not the karta because the huf has financed the shares 
and also the dividend income is being received by the HUF. Last category is employee drawing in excess of 50,000. An employee other than an employee described in 1 and 2 above whose income chargeable under the head exceeds 50,000 is a specified employee. The above salary is to be considered exclusively of value of all benefits or amenities not provided by way of monetary payments meaning all non-monetary benefits are to be excluded monetary benefits which are exempt under section 10 are to be excluded deduction under section 16 is to be excluded if an employee is employed with more than one employer the aggregate of the salary received from all the employers is to be taken into account for determining the above ceiling limit of 50 so friends this concludes the definition of the specified employees wherein there are three broadly there are three categories director employee is a specified employee person with beneficial ownership of 20 percent or more of the voting voting power is the specified employee and a person other than the above person if he is drawing a salary of more than 50,000 then he is a specified employee and accordingly any perquisite provided by the employer to such specified employee will be subject to tax in the hands of the employee and accordingly taxable. Thank you.